Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Fox again. So today I want to just give you guys some updates with the Dead and a Dead character. I haven't gotten to play it too much. I did only play for like six or seven hours on the uh, actual release day. So I'm here to update you guys a little bit with the character progress. So first off, I want to tell you that Dead and a Dead is absolutely like retarded in its current state. It does so much damage. Um, same thing paired with cremation. Now, the important thing to note is before you get your Dead and a Dead character started, you really want to make sure you can get Desecrate, which you can find in Act 2. So currently my links are Desecrate, Arcane Surge, Faster Casting, Spell Cascade. So basically I summon my Desecrate, it gives me Arcane Surge, and here I'll just show you guys specifically. Um, I'm using a Nykta's Lantern for my DD, which is Ellie Focus, Detonate Dead, and Spell Cascade. And then I'm using Cremation, just because Cremation is like a duration-based skill. So it's very easy to just cast and go back to Detonate Dead, and it does an insane amount of damage. We've got Cremation, Control Destruction, Ellie Focus. And then I just have like Volatile Dead, Shield Charge, Faster Attacks, because I'm messing around with it. Uh, Temporal Chains, Blasphemy. And then Lightning Golem, Decoy Totem. Nothing there really matters. So this is the current Abyss setup as well, where basically you will find something on the map. Um, like a little crater, and it will spawn, that mob is OP by the way, it will spawn like this little, I don't know, the, it'll make like a little crater and you kind of follow it, and it'll have like these poopy mobs on this part of it, and then at the end of the crater, or where the actual crater is, I guess these are like the fissures, will be like the rare mobs, and the rare mobs are really pissed off sometimes, uh, and they do heal, which is kind of like OP for builds that don't do any damage. Where did this one open to? Oh, that was it. Okay. Abyssal Trove. Murderous Jewel. Nice. We're also making use of one of the new um, belts that pretty sure everybody is using because you get an additional socket that you get to put inside it with a jewel. And the jewels are super strong. Also, just to show you guys with the tree, if you're curious. Um, it's following exactly like the YouTube video, pretty much. I want to see if I can show you, like, a boss. I guess I can go... I'll go back and do Brine King for you guys to show you what it looks like. I think that'll be, like, a nice comparison. Mr. Brine King! Oh, he's not this way. Just to confirm, we are 54 in a 50 zone, so about average. Nothing too crazy. Now, before you get uh, Desecrate, you will get access to Unearth at level 10. Uh, what Unearth is, is it just shoots a projectile, a single projectile that will create a corpse. Now, the projectile that it creates is always a Skeleton Archer. Uh, I don't believe they have that much HP, so it's not the best to use, but there's nothing wrong with it until Desecrate. I think Desecrate Spell Cascade trumps it by a long shot. Um... If you did want to use it, I'd recommend using, like, Unearth, GMP, and then maybe, like, LMP, or Volley, or Echo. Um, but make sure you use Arcane Surge with it, because Arcane Surge will make it so you get, like, a Multiplier, or not Multiplier, sorry, you get... Oh, actually, yeah, I think you get a Multiplier to Spell Damage, and then you get the Increase to uh, Cast Speed, and then you get Mono Regen as well. But I predict that while mapping... It'll be totally okay to use Unearth, and then for bossing, you can just spam Desecrate. But I don't think you'll really have to use that many, like, skills specifically. But, you're more than welcome to. I don't have a Remove Freeze, do I? Hold on a second. So this is going to be Cremation, if you guys are curious. Okay. Could it be over here? Is it this thing right here? No. <laughs> I'm really bad at layouts, man. Feels poo poo. Can I go this way? Oh, 
Okay, I think it's this way. Now, if you want to get Detonate Dead as a Templar, uh, you're going to have to either go all the way to Act 3, which there's nothing wrong with because you could technically level with Volatile Dead. Or you could just make a Witch and go to Mud Flats and do the simple Roa quest where, you know, breaking the eggs. And if you just do that, you guarantee unlock Detonate Dead as a Witch and then you can just mule it over. That's what I ended up doing. Now, as, um, as you level up and you get more cast speed... And more AoE because, um, what is it? Detonate Dead gets up to plus 4 radius. So I will be getting an extra base radius scale. So it will always, it's going to continue to feel better and better and better as it levels up. And then of course with additional cast speed, that will also make it feel much better. Mr. Brian King, what are you so doing, God. sir? Or ma'am? So dedicated. A man like you would never disappoint a lady in need. You're a gift, don't you see? A sumptuous feast for his majesty on his wedding. Okay, we're gonna do one, two, we three. So touched by your generosity. One, two, three. Alright. He uh split phases. Actually, no, he did the shield. Oh, no, 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 he split phases. Or no? No, no, okay, it is. Whoop. One, two, three. Boom! Okay, he split phases. Feels Brian King, man. You know, even with his shell on, I'm pretty sure we can burst him into, like, the next phase. Yeah. The damage is, like, so incredible on these skills. And down he goes. So, like, no exaggeration. That's pretty much what every boss felt like, including, like... Malachi, Avarius. Oh, uh, well, Malachi didn't have... No, even Malachi was pretty fast, actually. Not that fast, but... Um, the skill just gets better and better as you go on. And, you know, I'm playing an Inquisitor, and I haven't even specced into crit yet. Uh, all I have is Instruments of Virtue. So, like, by the time I get Inevitable Judgment, and I get, like, the Assassin crit with Doom Cast, and start using Power Charges, and then Uber Lab comes, and we get Augury. Oh, my. So, I'm pretty excited um, I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, Detonate Dead is totally strong and fucking crazy fun to level with right now, uh, especially pairing it with Cremation. Um, so one thing I do want to note as well, why I do like Cremation in this current setup, is say for example you have a mob running at you and you have corpses here, right? You can't really specifically target where with Detonate Dead if you're using Spell Cascade. So, like, if I click here, it just, you know, it went 1, 2, 3, because it's randomly detonating, I believe. But since you don't use Spell Cascade with Cremation, and I guess maybe you, you can, I don't really even know, you can, like, you can pick where you want it to go. So it doesn't, like, fuck you over, if that makes sense. But, I mean, we'll be messing around with links later. But anyway, that's pretty much about it. Just wanted to... Whoa, that was, that was freaky. What the hell was that? Why does it show my... It shows my face in the dark? I did not know that. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to catch you guys later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, as always, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Take care. Have a wonderful time, everybody.